Uh, hello, hi everyone. Uh, in this tutorial, we'll discuss uh, about sunburst charts. But before uh, we dive deeper into the code, let us try to understand what sunburst ch sunburst charts are and where are they exactly used. So I've pulled up an example here, and if you notice that sunburst charts are used to uh, display cuts across uh, various segments. For example, uh, here is we see that tutorials are divided into sections design and how to and in design there is a section which is javascript magazines are divided into sports and other under sports we have cycles cycling and tennis so if we want to display the various segments in a data then sunburst sunburst charts are probably the way to go about it so let's try to uh, create sunburst charts in python using plotly so let us import our libraries We'll use two libraries here, the, uh, pandas to handle the data frame and uh, plotly express to create the chart. So the data frame that I'll be working with, uh, it looks uh, something like this. We have three columns, uh, two are categorical, which are country and occupation, and then we have population. So this is just a very uh, simple dummy data set that I'll use, which represents that uh, what uh, what is the population of uh, these uh, occupations in the countries that are mentioned here. So to create a basic sunburst charts, we simply need to uh, use the syntax px dot sunburst. We mention the data frame in consideration. Then we mention the path. So uh, the path is actually what uh, segments do you want to represent? And these are uh, our uh, categorical columns. And then we have values which will uh, give us the radius of each of these sectors. Okay and uh, so you must notice that country is pop uh, is uh, created here at the center and then we have our occupation at the sides so what we can do we can bring the occupation at the sides as well just by uh, tweaking the uh, syntax of our code so once we do, uh, uh, keep occupation at the front and the country afterwards we have uh, like uh, uh, the initial cut becomes our occupation and then the uh, cut that's after becomes the country but uh, for the sake of this tutorial, we'll just uh, do it uh, country first and occupation later. Okay. Uh, coming uh, next. So let's add a chart title to our uh, chart as well. And we can do that by simply using the statement pick dot update layout. And then we mention what title do we want and then the position of the title. The title x equal to 0 0.5 means that it will be placed at the center. If we give it as 1, it will be placed at the right. If we give it a zero, it will be placed at the very left. Okay. So what next I'll do is I want to have custom colors for each of these uh, countries. I don't. And what you see here, they are uh, default colors as assigned by Plotly. So to make uh, the colors a bit customized, what I'll do is, uh, firstly, I need to give the colors by country. So I'll give the statement color equal to country, and then for each country, I'll mention specific colors. So here uh, you are using this attribute called color discrete map. So for Japan, USA and China, I've mentioned uh, three specific colors as you can see here. And once we plot uh, these, so this is how our chart is now looking like. So what I'll do next is I'll change the chart theme to uh, ch chart theme. And there are a lot of themes that Plotly offers that we can choose from, which are ggplot2, seaborn, plotly dark, plotly white. So here I've selected the theme as a plotly dark and once I uh, create uh, enter. So this is what our chart would look like with a plotly dark theme. So coming to next. So there's a special uh, special uh, sort of uh, a trick that is done for uh, uh, th that is actually implemented for our plotly sunburst charts. I'll just show. So let's say you have uh, this chart created and you want to see that what the cut is across Canada. So if you simply click on the Canada, so it will show you only the cut across Canada and then you just double click. So it will open it up. Okay. So you want, if you want to see the cuts for Japan, you just double click Japan and it will show you only the cuts across Japan. So uh, you can actually use uh, this trait of plotly sunburst charts. To replace a lot of pie charts for example if you have five six pie charts that you want to represent then you don't need to create those five six uh, pie charts you just need one sunburst chart and then you can simply uh, while your presentation just double click on the uh, specific one pie chart you want to show and then uh, just 
show the uh, sectors along that uh, specific uh, uh, chosen segment right uh, that was all for this tutorial guys thank you for watching